The name holds a story, a message of inspiration and empowerment. As a child, I constantly faced the need to prove myself. No matter which sport I pursued, but then I discovered cycling. It became my answer to skeptics who doubted my abilities. More than just freedom, cycling became my pursuit of justice in the face of those who wish me to fail. So when you encounter seamlessly insurmountable obstacles, remember, you just say it with your legs. With every paddle, you can conquer anything, one step at a time. And that's why you need to buy this brand. To embrace the journey, empower yourself, and achieve greatness. What's up? What's going on? It's in the Sloopy Say with your legs. Me there, remember? On the way in, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get on with the show. So we did the women's race. Now we're about to see the men's, what men showed up today. So let's get rid of the ladies thing. No disrespect to you ladies. Love you a long time. My guys, as you say. So trying to pick who's in the, in the men's race. I believe that might be Tibo Tibo Nice on the end, and next to him, can't make out. So I should have took a front picture so I can give you. But you got Ellie is a beat. You got um, uh, Cameron Mason. Um, who else was there? Uh, Lars Van der Haar. Um, uh, Lauren Schwack. Uh, Pim Pim uh, Pim Pim Van der Haar. Vin Pim is it Pim is Van der Haar? It might be. So Pim is his first name. Who else, who else, who else, who else, who else, um, blah, blah, blah. So as, as the race goes on and I can see who the riders are, then I can give you the names. But we're going to get into it. Just before we get into it, we're going to start things out like this. But thank you for joining me. Like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe channel. After this, we're going to just get right into the race. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's get into the. Media, you know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks. We got lots of stuff coming up. That's right. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. We got lots of stuff coming up. Man, that's just in my head now. I'm going to be saying that over and over and over. I hope you be saying it too. So let's get on with things. The men's race, Denmark, Belgium, World Cup, uh, round three. I believe it's round three of the World Cup in Denmark, Belgium. And uh, let's let's start the race and let's get into it. So. You gotta let me know. So I didn't play the music for the first, for the ladies' race, and because someone said it was too loud, but I did turn it down. So I, I just need you to let me know if you like. Just leave a comment if it's too loud. I won't play it if the music is distracting. I won't play it at all. But just let me know, and let's get on with things. So we're gonna, how are we gonna start the race out like this? How we get, oh, ready? Two, three. Yep, and they're out the gate. So as the men take off, it's uh, we are in Dandemar, Dandemar, Belgium, round three of the series. So we got a uh, sort of like the uh, intermarche sort of. They're not really intermarche at the front. So let's see. So Cameron Mason was like the first. He was like the first person to really suffer. Uh, there was a little bit of crash at the beginning. Someone went into, like, the pedal went into his front wheel and broke his spoke. So he pretty much had to run all the way to the pit. And that took him out of the race. And today's race was, like, perfect for him because it was super muddy and lots of running. So right off out of the out of the, out of the blocks, you got uh, Ryan. <coughs> you got Ryan and then you got Lauren Schwack. You got Ryan from the bingo team. Uh, no, I'm, I'm sorry, the Pauls team. And then you got like Lauren Schwack from the Kralin team. And these these guys are I believe they both both won at one time or another at this particular race since it started. We definitely know like Schwack's won, but I'm not quite sure about uh uh Isabi. So Ryan Camp is at the front, not Isabi. So what am I talking about? I'm just getting things all jump up. So Ryan Camp is he's the first one, he's he's leading the pack up the stairs. So the two, the, uh, so it's Ryan, and he always trips up. So it's Ryan Kemp and then it's Ilya Isabit. 
and Elias is actually leading the Super Prestige, and I believe he's in uh, second place or something like that in the World Cup standings. This is a World Cup race. So as you can see, the guys are more together than the girls. Like it's the, the competitiveness is it's a close it's closer. Whereas the the women, the the abilities are a little bit further apart, like from the best to the to the just the regular women. So as you can see, uh, Ryan Kemp takes the inside line and then and you'll see the guys, most of the guys are able to ride over, but as you'll see, like some of the guys towards the back have problems coming over. And then there's a Spanish national champion, he finished third yesterday. But this course is, uh, he's either still like legs are heavy from yesterday or this course is not to his liking. So we got Ryan Kemp. He's a, he's the first one in the front. That's Lauren Schwack in second place. And uh, I missed who it was in, in their place rather. So as they come around or they come back on the screen, I'll let you know who it was. So we got the two, it's the two, it's the two um, poles riders. So you got Ryan Kemp, then you got uh, Shrek. No, I mean not Shrek. Who is the other guy? Uh, Van Bush. Van 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 Bush. Van Bush. So he's the other Kralin rider. So Van Bush basically he he sort of did the opposite, but the same thing it, that that uh, Common Alvarado did. Whereas as they rode the course more and more, it actually became rideable. So he was able to ride pretty much at the same speed that Carmen Alvarado was riding, and he got a massive lead. So then he's got Ryan Camp chasing him, followed by Ellie Isabeth, followed by uh, Pim. Is it uh, Pim Ronha? I was saying uh, Vendaha, but Ronha. And uh, that's your top four so far. And as we get through lap one, we get through lap one. We got the Kralins right. And I was like really rooting for them because like Lawrence Schreck is like a guy I sort of like as well. And I was like rooting for him. So we got Vanderbosch, Ellie Isabeth. Kemp, uh, Pinar, Shrek, and those are the guys coming through. So the names is coming a bit through too fast. So I mean, uh, Van Bush was looking really, really good at this point. And he's a rider that usually comes good towards the end. You don't really see him like at the front early in the race. So to see him early in the race was a bit of a surprise. So I believe he just burned those matches a bit too soon. So now Ryan Kemp is taking over the lead. We're still in lap two, but the, Kr the Kralin riders have just back, you know, fallen back a place or two, but they're still in it. But the Poles riders have taken over, but then it switches back as um, Van Bush goes back to the front. And now we have Ron here from the track, Bolsey, the track team. I'm not even uh, I'm messing up the name and then then Ryan Kemp and then Elizabeth Ili is a little bit back. Elizabeth won the day before. So his legs is obviously like feeling it. And there's Cameron Mason. He because he had his little like accident and got his wheel maxed up. He is now in 23rd position. He was in like 40. He had to work his way th through the whole field to get back to like where he's at. And uh, we'll see how he finishes. So he had a lot of work to do to try to get back into like I think today if he would not have had the um like the miss up, I think he would have done a whole lot better because see you're gonna see how well he does, how he gets back into it. So the guys had no problems with the sand pit, no accidents, no crashes in the sand pit. So as you can see, Van Bush is he's he's got a really fast line. So Shrek realizes his teammate realizes how fast so much speed he picked up. So Shrek took the same line. And then what happened at Ellie Isabi was trying to follow as well. So what happens was the Kralin riders end up being one two at the front because they picked the fastest way and everyone else was running through the pit and running. So here we have uh Ven here we have Ron Her. He's the rider chasing the two Kralin riders. So I was just hoping that these guys would have just worked together and just pushed push 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 and got away so and then we camp in fourth place Ali is to be his teammate followed him there are the two Kralins riders led by uh, Van Bush and then Shrek and they're looking really really good really really good Shrek, Shrek's known as the Sandman he's like the, that guy that's really really good like in, in the sand pits has like the best control super power super fast but as you can see 
run here pim 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 mr pim run here is just catching up to now he's just on the back wheel of uh track and he's right on track he's he's on track like uh like white on rice and not too far behind uh, so here you see Van Bush telling, taking a really good line, and you'll see something a little different in a, in a couple laps. And everyone's taking that inside line because it's quick and it's fast. And there's Kempi's falling back to fourth, and Elibi Izabi, Eli Izabi is like in about seventh place, and he's just not on the on it like he was yesterday or the day before. And there's Cameron Mason. He's just basically chill. And he actually recorded the fastest lap because basically he was so far behind after his crash because he had to run to the pit and he just put him out of the race. So he's chasing really hard to get back into the top 10. And he managed to work his way back into the top 10. So in, in the process of doing that, Cameron Mason actually posted like the fastest uh, lap time for the day. So he, he definitely would have been in contention for the win had he not had to miss up mishap in the beginning of the race so here we have the so now now mr pim is in second place he's uh gotten past schwack and uh van bush is still holding holding him off and uh pim's just being smart so this is the part right here where where, where van bush messes up this is he he really he he just opened it up he, he went white why he went white like that and he he let he let Ron here, he let Pim in. So once Pim got to the front, it was game on. So now we have uh, Van Bush in second and we have Shrek in third. And this is, at this moment, this is the moment where, where like Pim just, just, just put the paddle to the metal because Van Bush was able to get around him because they were like duking it out for a little bit for that part of the lap. But once they got on this part and uh. Pim actually saw how fast they were able to go and he he utilized that and then he got to the front and he just put paddle to the metal and he's gonna put paid to this event so we got our uh, bambush in second and our uh, Shrek is in third and then it's uh, coming up Pim's teammate Vanderhaar catches up to uh to Shrek and Vanbush. but because you know they're on the same team uh Vanderhaar is not going to uh chase chase Pim because if he chases Pim he's going to bring up Shrek and Van Bush so he's going to give them a free ride so he doesn't want to bring them up and uh jeopardize the win so basically the, you know it's team tactics so you got a little spill there but it's 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 team tactics and you don't want to you you want to make sure and secure the win so if the guys that are uh, you're racing against they want to win they got to go to the front and they got to chase back Pim but they weren't able to chase back Pim. So as you can see, Shrek actually ends up dropping his teammate. So Van der Haar is like, okay, I gotta go with um I gotta go with Shrek. So if Shrek ends up catching up to Pim, then you know, then it's race on. But it's it's out of order if he takes Shrek up to up to Pim. So uh, we're coming through, we are on finishing lap two. Pim's got a nice little lead and there's a couple groups forming. And from all the way in the back, Cameron Mason just pulls his heels on the back of that group. He he had to put in an amazing, some amazing lap times. Like I said, he did have the fastest lap time, but to, to put in the time to get back to, you know, the group that's chasing the lead, that's pretty amazing. So hopefully that's not, that's, even bad and hopefully that's not too loud i just dropped it down a little bit more so like these 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 were game changes like, like between yesterday and today some of the obstacles that they have on these courses are, are pretty amazing so these are the big whoops so there's vanda there's vanda huh? and there's a uh, swack right behind him so these names man run her so pim runner he's out front now he's definitely putting it down and this is his first his first world cup win which was pretty amazing to see and then in second place his teammate van der Haar comes up and then in third place you got schweck so 
and then we're just gonna just let I'm just gonna let you see the top ten. So Cameron Mason actually finished 11th. He was actually he actually made it into the top 10, but on that you know he worked so hard to catch up to the group that that it pretty much he, he just you know burnt all those matches when the guys in the last lap they were like putting it putting it down and just using that last bit so they could get a cool position. He wasn't able to go with them, so unfortunately he finished outside of the top 10 today. But like uh, he finished second in the world championships and then he finished i can't even remember what he did yesterday did he finish uh so it's it was ecb won yesterday uh second was Sh schwack and then third was the spanish national champion and i believe um Cameron, I have to look. I think Cameron, like, I think he's still finishing the top 10 yesterday. He had a good finish yesterday. But, yeah, so anyway, that's Cameron Mason. Well done to, what's his name? Uh, Pim Ron, Her Ron here. He was your winner for today. Uh, second was uh, Lars Vendaha. And third was Lauren Schreck. So that's that was the race today. Hope you enjoyed that. <coughs> that was pretty cool to see. I just thought that was so amazing. I, that, I just thought that was really, really amazing. So I was really, really excited to see. And we're just waiting for the big boys to come back. Um, Matthew Vanderpool, Walt Bernard, uh, Tim, uh, yeah, P Tim Pickock, Tom Pickock, sorry. And it's really not surprised that these guys are not racing. And the main reason that they have such a busy schedule. Uh, Pickock is racing mountain bike as well. Walt Van Aert, just he's just he's just Superman. He he just needs a break, and Matthew Vanderpool is similar as well. So these guys, you just can't expect them to keep going and going and going and going and going. So that's why you, you're not seeing them. But I'm pretty sure at some point they're gonna show up. So you, the next race, I believe, the next World Cup race is in France, then uh, Ireland, Dublin. It's a question mark on Dublin for me because there was talk about going, but I, I don't know. I don't. It's it's yeah. So it's a question mark on Dublin because that here it's here in the UK. Well, not it's yeah. It's it's closer, so it it is possible. And then after uh, Dublin, then it's down to Italy for the snow course. Snow cross, pretty much. Uh, it's it's uh so so Val Val de Sol Val de Sol, and um yeah so. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. I hope you enjoyed that. This is Ennis Luby. Say with your legs if you made it this far. Please hit the like button. Subscribe. To, tell a friend. Tell a friend. Share. Do everything. And all those people who have just subscribed, I appreciate you. And trust me, everyone who has subscribed, I got something for you, man. I, I'm, I'm going to reward everybody who subscribed. But it won't be until January, February when things really kick off and I get in Europe and I'm doing what needs to be done. So anyway, like I said, not going to be too long. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate you. And uh, last time, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get out of here, baby. Media, you know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks, we got lots of stuff coming up.